The muffled drum sad roll has beat, the soldier's last tattoo. No more on life's parade shall meet that brave and fallen few. On fame's eternal camping ground, their silent tents are spread, and glory guards with solemn round the bivouac of the dead. No rumor of the foe's advance now swells upon the wind, no troubled thought at midnight haunts of loved ones left behind. No vision of the morrow's strife, the warrior's dream alarms. No braying horn nor screaming fife, at dawn shall call to arms. Their shivered swords are red with rust, their plumed heads are bowed, their haughty banner trailed in dust is now their martial shroud. In plenteous funeral tears have washed the red stains from each brow, and the proud forms by battle gashed are free from anguish now. The nang troop, the flashing blade, the bugle stirring blast, the charge, the dreadful candidate, the din and shout are past. No war's wild note nor glory's peal shall thrill with fierce delight those breasts that never more may feel the rapture of the fight. Like the fierce northern hurricane that sweeps his great plateau, flush with the triumph yet to gain came down the serried foe, who heard the thunder of the fray break o'er the field beneath, knew well the watchword of that day was victory or death. Long had the doubtful conflict raged o'er all that stricken plain, for never fiercer fight had waged the vengeful blood of Spain. And still the storm of battle blew, still swelled the gory tide. Not long our stout old chieftain knew, such odds his strength could bide. Twas in that hour his stern command called to a martyr's grave, the flower of his beloved land, the nation's flag to save. By rivers of their father's gore, his firstborn laurels grew. And well he deemed the sons would pour their lives for glory too. Full many a northern's breath has swept o'er Angostura's plain, and long the pitting sky has wept above its moldered slain. The raven scream or eagle's flight, or shepherd's pensive lay, alone awakes each sullen height that frowned o'er that dread fray. Sons of the dark and bloody ground, ye must not slumber there, where stranger steps and tongues resound along the heedless air. Your own proud land's heroic soil shall be your fitter grave. She claims for more his richest spoil, the ashes of her brave. Thus neath their parent turf they rest, far from the gory field, born to a Spartan's mother's breast on many a bloody shield. The sunshine of their native sky smiles sadly on them there, in kindred eyes and hearts watch by the hero's sepulcher. Rest on embalmed and sainted dead, dear as the blood ye gave, no impious footsteps here shall tread the herbage of your grave, nor shall your glory be forgot while fame her record keeps or honor points the hallowed spot where valor proudly sleeps. Yon marbled minstrel's voiceless stone and deathless song shall tell, when many a vanished age hath flown, the story how ye fell. Nor wreck, nor change, nor winner's blight, nor time's remorseless doom, shall dim one ray of glory's light that gilds your deathless tomb. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also visit www.discerninghistory.com for more videos and other resources.